Welcome Saints, thank you for joining me today as we make a conscious effort in the month of September 2021. My name is Gertrude Jirasa Payne of DP Global Ministries. I am just the servant of God and that I'm bringing the word of God to you today. So continuing on from yesterday, I promised that we were going to be talking about the soil and the ground for us to sow our seeds in so that we can yield a harvest and a return. If you turn your Bibles quickly with me to Proverbs chapter 24 verse 3 to 4, it says, Says that by wisdom a house is built and through understanding it is established through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures by wisdom a house is built and through understanding it is established through knowledge its rooms are filled with red and beautiful treasures if you want to know the grounds to sow your seeds in speak to God this whole universe was created by God. He created everything and he knows where he's destined for you to sow your seeds. He's the one that gives seed to the sower and he's the one that gives a harvest to the sower. And so you've got to go to God and God will show you which ground it is that you are meant to be sowing your seeds in. Speak to God about where to sow, what grounds are fertile. Don't rely on canality. Don't rely on trends. Don't rely on the economics. Uh, economists that do not rely on what people are saying. You've got to rely on God and God alone. If you turn your Bibles quickly with me to Isaiah chapter 45 verse 3, it says that I will give you hidden treasures, which is stored in secret places so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who summons you by name. I will give you hidden treasures. God is going to give you hidden treasures. If you speak to him that God, where should I sow my seed? He will show you the place that when you put your one seed in, you will yield a hundred percent return on investment in the name of Jesus. A lot of us look at the physical grounds and look at trends and look at the economists and read all kinds of financial uh, statistics and all kinds of financial predictions and projections. And we begin to follow what is trending and not seeking God. God's advice on where to sow. He says that I will give you hidden treasures, riches that are stored in places so that you may know that I am the Lord. When God gives you, oh my God, the inside trading information, you would know that he is God because what God has told you, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard and neither has it entered into the heart of men. So the economists cannot tell you, the financial uh, projection, uh, the stock exchange cannot begin to tell you it is is God that can give you an indication as to what grounds to begin to sow in and he says that you will know that it is me God who summoned you by name there is a ground for you so don't follow men there is a ground for you don't follow trends there is a ground for you. Don't follow, don't, don't rely on your carnal wisdom, but rely on the wisdom of God. We are told in Genesis chapter 12, sorry, Genesis chapter 16, from you start reading from 12, it's a story about Isaac. We are told that Isaac was in this land. If you go right back to Genesis chapter 26, verse 1, it says that, uh, there was famine in the land of Greer. Isaac at the time was living in this land of Greer, which is the land that belonged to the Philistine. And he was living there. It was a foreign land. And we are told that there was famine in the land and everyone was leaving the land of Greer and making their way to go to Egypt. But God appeared to Isaac and said, do not go. Live in the land where I tell you to live. Live in the land where I tell you to live. God is saying that stay in the place that I tell you. Sow in the place that I tell you. Invest in the place that I tell you. On the face value, there was farming in that land. And everyone was leaving. We are told that everyone was leaving and making their way down to Egypt. Because physically and statistically and financially and looking at the economy, they could tell that things were we're going well in Egypt. So we are all leaving land of gray that is destitute, that is famine, that is broke. We are going to be going to the place where we hear that there is, there is food and that's where people were migrating, they were moving. But God said to Isaac, do not go. He says, live in the land that 
I, God, will show you. There's a land for you and there's a land for me. And so we have got to go to the master craftsman. We've got to go to God and say, God, when you formed me, what was your intention concerning me? Where was I to sow? Where am I to stay? Where am I to invest? Go back to God. He says, go and stay in the ground that I will show you. He's talking about grounds. Sometimes the ground is not just what we see in the physical. Sometimes the grounds is a spiritual ground. And sometimes the grounds is a combination of the physical and the spiritual. God will show you which ground it is that you should sow in. He assures Isaac that even though there was a drought and famine in the earth realm, God is saying that in the spiritual realm, this is seed time. So even though in the physical realm, it's looking at it with your two eyes and looking at it on the surface value and looking at it from a worldly perspective, there is famine and there is drought and everybody is going to where they can find food and water. But God is saying spiritually, it is time for you to sow in this very land that you are looking on the physical side and it doesn't look good. Spiritually, this is the ground that you are going to sow in. He says, I will show you where in the same area where others are fleeing away from that you can struck gold. So God can show you to struck gold. But one of the reasons why I am doing this 30 days declaration is in this month of September in this year. One will say that, but there's a crisis, there's been a pandemic and people have lost their job. This is the very reason because even in this season that people want to call it a very bad season, they want to call a dead season, they want to call it a broke season, they want to call it a problematic season, they want to call it a traumatized season, a season full of chaos and crisis. I know that many are also sowing according to the word of God and they are reaping in the name of Jesus. When men say this is going down, I'm saying this is going up. I am listening. We are to be wired according to the economy of heaven. We are meant to operate according to the economy of heaven. And so it doesn't matter what is happening in the earth realm. What is God saying? What exactly is God saying? you got to listen quietly to what God is saying in each season and begin to operate. And he said to Isaac, even though other people are going and fleeing away from this place, you must stay in this land and so stay in a place that I will show you. And we are told that Isaac obeyed God and he sowed. And that year, oh my God, tomorrow by this time, beloved, that same year, he reaped a hundredfold in the same year that God spoke to him, in this same year, may you begin to reap brothers and sisters, in this same year that you made up your mind that you will be obedient to the word of God, may you begin to reap, in the same year that your mindset was shifted and you, be you began to apply your faith, you began to plant your seed, you began to identify the right grounds to plant your seeds in, may you begin to reap. It says that in that same year he reaped a hundredfold. Hundredfolds mean hundred times a hundred. So that means he got 10,000 more of whatever he put in. He put whatever he put in the ground. He had 10,000 more of that in the same year. A hundredfold, a hundredfold is a hundred times a hundred in the name of Jesus. We thank God for the hundredfold blessing. We thank God for the hundredfold anointing. We thank God for the hundredfold harvest. We thank God for the hundredfold increase. Begin to decree hundredfold over yourself wherever you are. Wherever you are, whatever seed you've got in your hand, whatever seed you were planting in this season, begin to pray over it and decree and declare a hundredfold blessing, a hundredfold harvest, a hundredfold increase over that seed in the the name of Jesus I am gonna take God at his word and I am going to invest and I am going to call for a hundredfold blessing in the mighty name of Jesus you've got to hear this message and go on and do exploits in Jesus mighty name hallelujah